in this short video I will talk to you about sacroiliac joint so from its name you can uh, uh, conclude that this joint between the sacrum and ilium which is part of hip bone so we have right and we have left sacroiliac uh, joints so it's a synovial joint first of all and this joint stabilized by a couple of ligaments so the easier way to remember those ligaments is just to if you know the name of the joint that means you almost um, uh, remember you can remember uh, those uh, pretty easy uh, ligaments so anteriorly uh, yes this is the sacroiliac joint so anteriorly you have anterior sacroiliac um, ligament and posteriorly you have also posterior sacroiliac ligament now if you remove the posterior sacroiliac ligament you will find this strong ligament which is the between the bones so it's known as interosseous interosseous sacroiliac ligament so always you have to say sacroiliac ligament so you have one anterior one posterior and one in between which is the interosseous sacroiliac uh, ligament plus you have two important ligaments not shown in this figure uh, in which uh, the first one is the sacrotuberous and the other one is sacrospinous ligaments let me show you where they are and what the significance of those ligaments so again this is the sacrum and this is the right hip bone so the left hip bone removed in order to have a look to the right uh, side of the pelvic cavity so the first one which is the sacrospinous ligament it is a, this one this is small one which is a triangular ligament that you know sacrospinous that means uh, you can conclude mainly the uh, where is the uh, attachments of this ligament however this ligament um, uh, it's the piece of this ligament say this because it's like triangular shape uh, attached to the related margin of the sacrum and coccyx as you see here and its apex attached to the ischial spine this protruded bone i think you remember the ischial spine which is part from the ischium right so also let me add one thing about the ischial spine let me remind you that the ischial spine uh, the presence of the ischial spine um, it creates a kind of two knots in the posterior margin of the uh, hip bone creates a greater sciatic notch and lesser sciatic notch back again to the ligaments so this is the sacrospinous ligament there is another triangular ligament which is sacrotuberous let me change the color so this is the sacrotuberous ligament why it's called sacrotuberous tuberous because it's inserted in the Tuberosity, ischial tuberosity, another bone from ischium. So this is the sacro um, tuberous ligament. One, two things you have to know here, most importantly. The sacro tuberous ligament is lateral to the sacrospinous. That means sacrospinous located medial to it. This is number one. Number two, the presence of these two ligaments in this way, by their attachment, um, it creates a kind or they converted, they converted the greater and lesser sciatic notch into a greater and lesser sciatic foramina, right? So the notch converted by foramen because you have a notch like that and covered by ligaments so the notch will be now uh, the, the the notch uh, becomes like a foramen i think maybe we forgot to uh, just talk about the sacrotuberous ligament that it look at this here the sacrotuberous ligament origin attached to the posterior superior iliac spine and to the dorsolateral of sacrum and dorsolateral of coccyx right and as i mentioned inserted in the ischial tuberosity look at the presence of these two ligaments how they converted the 
greater sciatic notch and lesser sciatic notch into greater sciatic foramen and lesser sciatic foramen yes there are a couple of structures from each foramen but i will leave it to the gluteal region um yes we mentioned that thank you